Clocks and watches, our everyday companions, our faithful timekeepers. But are they totally trustworthy? Can a precise and perfect timepiece ever exist? Gli orologi svizzeri, si sa, sono famosi. Swiss watches are famous for their precision. But scientists in this center at Neufchatel are developing a clock so precise that it loses only one second every 3,000 years. The answer is the atomic clock, which Swiss scientists are developing at CSEM. The atomic clock measures time accurately because it relies on the radiation emitted by atoms. It means that the frequency emitted by atoms of hydrogen is being measured and gives the reference of, for time. The old version of the atomic clock built in the 1990s was the size of a household washing machine. But CSEM scientists in this building, which is the old astronomical observatory of Neufchatel, are working towards the progressive miniaturization of the atomic clock. Their goal is to reduce it to the size of a sugar cube. We're looking at the heart of the old atomic clock. On this table you can see how the miniaturization process of clocks has evolved. The heart has always been the smallest thing to get down to nearly a millimeter today. Here we can see the interior circuitry which pilots the miniature atomic clock. It's about two millimeters wide. Miniaturization is useful in order to put atomic clocks in more instruments and mobile devices. Our ultimate goal here at CSEM is to work towards having an atomic timepiece in a wristwatch. In this clean room, atomic clocks are being built. First, scientists produced this wafer. On each one, there's the heart of 3,000 atomic clocks. Scientists not only hope to install atomic clocks in consumer electronic devices, but they also want to use them for scientific purposes, such as verifying Einstein's theory of relativity. On voit ici. This here is a prototype of an atomic clock. We can see just the atomic part which controls the clock. This here is the physical part with an atomic cell on its back which contains the atoms and which measures four millimeters across. If we were to put an atomic clock in a smartphone with a GPS, for example, then we'd have a frequency base in the GPS which would allow a faster synchronization with geo-positioning satellites and therefore a more efficient device. But for a normal watch, as this wristwatch here, what will happen when there will be an atomic clock inside? Right now, if you have a wristwatch, you have to wind it up from time to time, maybe every day or every few weeks. With an atomic clock inside, in theory, you'll only need to set it once every 3,000 years, providing, of course, your battery lasts that long. Today, the best atomic clocks are able to keep time to the point where they will gain or lose one second every one billion years. And they're powered by this extremely little engine. The minuscule part, only a millimeter across, holds the key to a future in which clocks will always be running on time.